Hi guys, well let's have some fun with Affinity Designer and one of the old favourites, typing text around a circle or shape. Now this is a short tutorial but it'll you'll find it very useful. It's a very common problem. Now often in design we come across the need to place text around a circle or around a shaped object. In this tutorial we'll learn how to place text around a circle or any symmetrical shape in Affinity Designer just like you can see there. So let's start. Create a new canvas. Launch Affinity Designer and if you wish to work on a transparent background, which I find easier, check the transparent background checkbox just there. Now create a new document and I'm using A5 in this case. It's all you really need um, just for this example in any case. I mean your obvious uh, project may be quite different. Now pull out a circle while holding the shift key down and position it exactly in the center of your canvas. You can see I've got a transparent canvas there and I've got a slightly gray circle um, sitting in the middle. The circle is 78.7 .7 square. Very nice. A vertical and horizontal guide <coughs> will show for clarity to indicate you're in the center. If you like you can also go to the Guides Manager and add a vertical and horizontal guide there that will stay there um, while you're working on your project. Sometimes makes it easier to line the text up. So, next, fill the background with some color. Say OOCEC9 in the, um, in the color swatches. Now, you don't really need that because it will disappear shortly. Just makes it easier to see your circle. Pick the move tool. <coughs> excuse me. Pick the move tool and click on the circle to select it. And you can see it's selected there. Now notice that the stroke width is set to zero. Now I've just got that highlighted there to show you. It's all we need to worry about at this stage. Now the option is referred to usually as text on a path, and let's look at how this is done. So highlight the circle to use. Yes, we've done that. Tap the text tool down the bottom there, that letter A, and select artistic text tool. That's the one you want. Now hover your mouse pointer on the edge of the circle. It doesn't matter where, but anywhere on the edge of the circle is good. And click. Click the mouse. The color of the circle disappears because you're changing its type. Two small green and orange triangles appear on the edge of the circle, marking the start, green, and end points, orange, of the text to be typed in a direction. Well, it's kind of orange or red, depending on um, your observation of colors. The cursor blinks at the green triangle. You can see a little line there. That's the cursor because it's not blinking here because this is the stationary exercise. The cursor blinks at the green triangle. We're now ready to type some text. Now I've set the text to Comic Sans and about 18 point. Of course you can use any text you like, but make it big enough to see. Initially, the text appears on the outside of the circle. Now we type in some words. Let's say Battlestar Galactica. Remember, you can select the font you fancy, choose the appropriate color, and also set the font size as desired. It behaves just like fonts. Now, the green triangle can be dragged around the circle's circumference to the point where you want the text to start. And you can see I've moved it up a little bit there, so Battlestar Galactica is kind of centered on the top of the circle. Your type text can reach up to the orange triangle. But if it gets beyond it, it flips over to the inside of the circle, which can be very disconcerting. The orange triangle is also draggable, so set the marks as you desire. Now you can see I've got the orange or red triangle quite a fair way around the circle there, but if I move it back up to just following the word Galactica, we'll see the effect of continuous typing. You can see I've moved the first orange circle up to just after Galactica and I've added some more words. Press the space bar and start typing the words United. Whoops, 
As it closes the orange mark, the, the new text automatically flips position to the inside of the circle, beginning from the original green start point, but inverted and in an anti-clockwise direction. <laughs> Another set of triangles, one green, the darker, and one reddish, are auto-inserted into the circumference. Now you can see the second green and orange um, markers there. The green-orange, just before United Federation, and the orange triangle sort of way around in the other quadrant. That's okay. It takes a little bit of getting used to these, um, the way this text works, but you'll soon get the hang of it, and you'll soon have some fun with it, because you can, with a little bit of judicious shuffling around of those triangles, you can do all sorts of really interesting things with the text. Move the second green handle to slide the text into position below the top words. Now you can see I've got a horizontal and a vertical guide put there from the Guides Manager. So I know when the words are pretty much centred um, vertically and horizontally for that matter. The green bottom green uh, triangle is just on the U. The top green triangle is just on the B. They're the starts of the words. The red triangles are the edges of the words. Now, the way you've made this, you'll have Battlestar Galactica on the top of the circle, but United Federation is on the inside of the circle. Hmm, now if we're going to put something in there, we really want that United Federation to be below the circle. So let's see how we solve that problem. There are two things about resizing the area. If you drag any corner handle of the selection, both the height and width resizes simultaneously without altering the size of the text on the path. There's an extra dot which extends from the bottom right corner of the selection known as the scale handle. If you drag that handle, the text also scales along with the height and width of the object. You can try that if you like. Just experiment with it. Pick any approach or both. Do the necessary adjustments and accommodate the appended text. Now the text so far. We note that the text United Federation of Planets is written on the inside of the circumference. Well, I haven't got of planets in this image, but just type it in. If you want to get rid of the red lines under Battlestar Galactica, go to the spelling tool and select ignore spelling for these words. Just highlight the word and ignore spelling. Or you can turn it off for the whole document in preferences. The, the red lines don't print. They can be a bit annoying, but they don't print or have any other effect other than to remind you that the system doesn't recognize those words. So, let's continue right along. The adjusted text. You can see it's now below the line. To place it along the outer path of the circumference, increase the baseline. So you go over to Character, the char Character Studio, and you can see the letter A with the arrow up and down beside it. That's the baseline. If you hover the mouse over that section where the red arrow is pointing to, you'll see it comes up and says baseline. Now here we slide it out to minus 25 points. I've got pixels on there, but it should be points. PT. In the same, <coughs> in the same way, artistic path text can be created from any line, curve, or outline of a shape. But be making the baseline minus 25, it's moved the text minus 25 points below the baseline, which is the outer edge of the circle. So it puts the text on the outer edge of the circle. There's no mystery to that. That's how it's easily done. And you can see the red starting triangle for United Federation is again at, still at the start of United Federation. And the red um, end tag is still right up there near the halfway mark. Now, the almost final result, I've put, guess what, uh, a sort of a, a sort of a bluish rectangle 
behind the word Battlestar Galactica, United Federation. So you can clearly see the curved text. You're not messing around with blank lines or things like that. And there I've put an image. Underneath Battlestar Galactica and above the rectangle. So you can actually get rid of the rectangle because it has no effect. But that tells you there that you don't have to worry about trying to put the text around that object. You can just put an object beneath it and it'll show up nicely. Well, that's about it, I think. I hope you enjoy the short little exercise. There's lots of things to experiment with there. Have fun. That's it, folks, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Helps me along, keeps me interested, keeps me designing little tutorials like this.